اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, we are going to use ChatGPT to understand independent samples t-test. Now, let's say I want to conduct independent samples t-test, but I do not know what it is, how it should be used, when it should be used. So, let's ask a ChatGPT for it. So, before we move on, let's first ask what is independent samples t-test? So an independent samples t-test is a statistical hypothesis test used to determine whether there is a significant difference between the means of two independent groups. Now here are two important things that one should note. It is the difference between means of two independent groups. So if you want to compare two groups for a particular value, whether the means differ between the two groups, you are going to use independent samples t-test. Now in this test, the data from two groups are assumed to be normally distributed. Now this is the assumption of independent sample t-test. Now whenever we are using statistical tests, we have assumptions. The assumption for independent samples t-test is that the data has to be normally distributed with equal variances and the samples are drawn independent from each other. Now the variances, obviously one, the assumption is that it is equal but if it is not equal then there is a way around it and the, the value the sample value do not overlap between the groups so the samples are independent let's say the marks for students so obviously if you have for two groups let's say male and female so the marks for male and female are different so male cannot be in the category of female and female cannot be in the group of male the null hypothesis is that the means of the two groups are equal. So the null means that there is no difference between the groups, while the alternate hypothesis says that there are differences and that they are not equal. Now what it does is that t-test calculates a t-statistic, which is a measure of the difference between the means of the two groups relative to the variation within each group. The larger the t-statistic, normally greater than 1.96, the more evidence that there is a difference between the means. Now this is how you can explain independent sample t-test using ChatGPT. So what we are doing is actually, let me explain it. Let's say I've got a variable marks. for section A and section B. Now I want to compare marks between section A and section B. For such comparison, I will use independent samples t-test. Similarly, let's say I want to compare another thing. Let's say I want to compare job satisfaction between middle rank employees and senior rank employees. Now again, there are two groups and the comparison has to be made for job satisfaction between these two groups. Similarly, in this case, I'm going to use independent samples t-test. Now in this scenario, let's say I've got this data set here. I've got job satisfaction, for instance, and I want to compare it between male and female respondents. Here it is. So I've got the job satisfaction score for different respondents. Now this is, let's say male. This is the job satisfaction score. Male, this is female, this is the job satisfaction score and I want to compare job satisfaction score between male and female respondents. Now before I do that, I need a hypothesis that I can accept or reject. So whenever you are proposing a test, you need a hypothesis that should be or that can be rejected or accepted. Although normally we reject or fail to reject the hypothesis, but I do not want to get into complications for now. Just let's keep things a bit easier. So let's ask ChatGPT for our hypothesis. I have a variable job satisfaction that is to be compared between male and female 
respondents. How do I propose the hypothesis? Let's ask ChatGPT for the hypothesis. Now, normally what we go for, we go for our alternate hypothesis. So there is a significant difference in the mean of job satisfaction between male and female respondents. Let's copy the hypothesis. Here it is. Now let's call it H1. Now, how do we test it using SPSS? So you go to analyze, compare means and proportions. In earlier versions, it's just compare means. Independent samples, t-test. Click here. Now let's move job satisfaction onto this test variable list box. And gender is already here, but let's say if it was not here. So you click on gender, click this arrow box, define groups. One is for male, two is for female. Continue, do not do anything else, just press OK. Now here are your results. This is the group statistics. This is your independent sample t-test results. Now again, one-sided, two-sided. Now one-sided is one-tailed, two-sided is two-tailed. This is your Levine's test for equality of variance. Now again, there are two p-values here. Which one to use, the top one or the bottom one? Now this is decided based on your Levine's test for equality of variance. Now here is your confidence interval. There is no zero in between and see this p-value is less than 0 0.05. So obviously, so we can say that there are significant differences. And if you look at the mean value, there are differences as well. Now, which one is or which group has higher job satisfaction? Well, the mean score is higher for female. So females have higher job satisfaction. Now this is the effect size for now just leave on this effect size again it is 1.02 and we are going to interpret it later. Now how do I use chat GPT and ask it to give me the results. Now again you've got two tables let's first slightly format our results. So let's put this here and alongside this I'm going to put in this table and I'm going to ask chat GPT if it can interpret it for me. Let's say how. Let's remove this one here. This first row, delete it. Okay. And I do not need this. Let's delete it for now or rather just standard error. Delete it. Let's merge and center for now. Remove this merge and center. So let's remove this. Delete. And let's use the two sided mean for now. Let's remove the degrees of freedom as well. Now which one to use? Shall I use this top row here, this one, or shall I use this one to find out whether my results are significant or not? Because at the end of the day, we are getting two p-values. And again, there is a p-value here as well. Now, in order to find out which p-value to use, and obviously, if you look here, test for equality of means, and this is what I'm interested in. I'm not interested in Levine's test for equality of variance. My test is on test for equality of means. So I've got two p-values here. At this point, they look the same and they are the same. But at times it could be different. So we need to know which one to use, the top row or the bottom row. Now in order to find out which one to use, you will need to go back to this value here, the Levine's test for equality of variance. Now in this case, it is less than 0 0.05. Now this means your equal variance between the two groups is not assumed. If this value here is less than 
पॉइंट जीरो फाइव दिस मीन्स दैट यूर इक्वल वेरियंस इज नॉट एज्यूम्ड द वेरियंस बिटवीन द टू ग्रोप्स इन दिस केस मेल एंड फीमेल इज नॉट द सेम एंड इफ इट इफ दैट इज द केस यू आर गोइंग टू यूज द सेकेंड रो यू आर गोइंग टू यूज दिस और रादर एनी वन ऑफ दीज टू वैल्यूज to compare your means now in this case i'm using two sided i do not know or i haven't presumed that male have higher or female have higher job satisfaction now in this case it is less than 0.05 so i will say that there is a significant difference in job satisfaction between male and female respondents now why second row again this value for levine's test for equality of variance is less than 0.05 if this would have been greater than 0.05 then equal variance would have been assumed between the two groups so i'm going to use these one of these two p values based on my assumption now in this case i'm not assuming that male or female have higher job satisfaction in comparison to one another i i'm just saying there is a difference so two sided p Now in this case, this is less than point zero five. So you are there is a mean difference between male and female. Moving on. So equal variance not assumed. So this will be. Let's say I'm going to delete this. This row, delete it. Let's put job satisfaction back in. So, just one more thing: we need these values in reporting. So, cut it, put it in the second row because the first row is going to get deleted anyway. Delete. So now let's ask ChatGPT for our results. So, how do I do this? So in this case, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to write a brief description here. The mean score for male is three point one six, and female is three point seven eight, with standard deviation of one point one two and zero point eight zero. respectively right the equal variance is not assumed let's say i put in f is equal to 22.966 and p is less than 0.05 the equality of mean show that there is a difference in means between the two groups let's say male and female for job satisfaction and the t value is minus 4.751 comma p is less than 0.05 now copy it and let's ask chat gpt to format it for us can you format the mentioned results from spss in apa format to report independent samples t test and let's see what we get now here it is an independent sample t test was conducted to compare job satisfaction between male and female now you have just given chat gpt a basic description of your results now this is where your own knowledge of statistics will come into play you need to understand the test you need to understand the values in order to get better out of chat gpt 
Now again, let's ask ChatGPT to give us a table. Can you present the results in a table as well? Now here is your table for the results. Now obviously uh, I do not like the table much. You can obviously redo a table in your Excel as well by formatting it properly. Now how to do this? Let's quickly do that as well. Let's remove this. Move this up. Move this here. And let's format it into a table. Now here it is. Let's copy it and paste it here, select it, now here it is. Now let's ask ChatGPT if it can interpret these results as well, if you have formatted the table. Can you interpret the following independent samples t test results? And let's see what we get. So here is the interpretation, but let's ask it to further improvement. Can you interpret and, and report it in APA style? Let's be polite, please. So here, what you're getting is a more detailed response in APA style. Now, if you format your table in Excel and give chat GPT the table it can give you the description or report in APA format as well. So I guess this session would have helped you understand independent sample C test, its assumptions and how to use chat GPT to get a report out of it. Thank you very much.